Okay, today I'll be refuting the main claim of rap music is a positive influence on you. The first claim I will be refuting against is rap music reinforces positive mood, which is true, but what does it influence a positive mood of? Well, it influence a positive mood of money, drugs, and women. In today's rap community, mostly, and like, yeah, mostly talks about how money, women, and drugs are a fun way of living life. And many people believe this because they enter the party scene, and that's what's fun in today's society. And it, that music is actually more popular than underground music, which actually talks about um, the negative things of life that we should think about. That we should think about how we should change that. But rappers today aren't making that point. Kid Cudi recognizes this problem with rap that it only talks about money, drugs, and women. And women aren't even considered women, they're considered bitches. My counterclaim would be rap promotes bad behavior. And rappers like Lil Wayne, Gucci Man, Young Thug, Chief Keef, YG, ASAP Mob are all popular rappers today. They all talk about money, drugs, and women. And that's all that they talk about, for the most part. And Wiz Khalifa and all of the songs talk about weed. And is that something we want our youth to be listening to? No. Uh, rap music contributes to individual and community empowerment. That may be true a couple of years ago, but today it does no, it does not, it's no longer true. In these past couple of years, no rapper has had the opportunity to lead a rally with his music. Before in the 90s, Public Enemy was able to do that. Since the 2000s, no one has done that. And fans today do follow their art artists, like Kanye West, that do have a positive message. But they listen to this positive message, and they're educated by this, but they use their education for no reason. None of them has stepped up to the plate to do anything to change our, co our current lifestyles or government. And this is basically what Kanye West speaks about. Instead, we have, again, rappers like Young Thug, Uji Man, Chief Keef, and all their fans following into their little lifestyles of money, women, and drugs. And all of these artists put no time into their work. Little Wayne on Weezy Wednesdays, his first episode, admitted that he goes into his studio and makes up his raps on the fly and basically all it talks about again is money drugs and women and that's my conclusion thank you Thank you.
All right, the structural stuff is fine. Uh, the signpost on the first point is okay. I do think that you've got a good counterclaim, which basically suggests that uh, you know, money, drugs, and women, and that gets repeated several times. I, apparently, I'm missing out on something here. <laughs> uh, you know, one of the things that you might show, for instance, is that the uh, that those people who advocate those songs or sing those songs that they're the best-selling artists. They're the ones that draw the most attention. Uh, you know, they're the ones that people hear about or have you know have an influence. Um, and you could measure that, like I said, by uh, music sales or concert attendance, or even if, you know, I don't know, their Twitter following. I mean, there might be some way to measure those sorts of things and say, you know, socially conscious rappers do exist out there, but they're in the underground and nobody ever hears about them. All they hear is Lil Wayne talking about uh, getting high and some biatch or whatever that is that he's got a uh, thing for. You know, that sort of thing. And how do we know that that's true? Because here's a band that, you know, here's a rap artist that uh, speaks to social issues and, you know, they have 20,000 sales of their last uh, s single release. And here's Lil Wayne who puts out uh, the same crap every week and it gets a million hits, you know, over and over and over again. So I think there are ways to maybe quantify that a little bit more, but I, I think you've got the right point on this issue. I do think that you ought to talk a little bit about the advocate's evidence also, so that you can contrast that, but, you, but you've got the right idea. It might not be a bad idea also to give us maybe a couple of uh, examples of some of those things. Maybe clean it up a bit if it is really uh, inappropriate, but I, I believe what you're saying, that these the long list of rappers that you gave, which I won't even try to spell or say, um, you know that they, have, you know that those are their songs, you know that sort of thing. Uh, but maybe a couple of examples of the song lyrics, for instance, just to, as an illustration on that point. Um, let me see. Uh, it wasn't clear to me at one point. It sounded like you were saying that Kanye was socially uh, alert and aware, and other times it sounded like he hasn't really stepped up. It's not quite clear to me. Uh, which position you're coming down on there, because that would seem to contradict your position there. Your argument, I think, is maybe a little dry and a little passive in its delivery. I think you could be maybe a little bit more passionate. Doesn't have to rhyme, but thank you.